Hello, hello, hello. How you doing, Pisces? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. How y'all doing, Pisces? How you feeling? How you feeling today is Mental Health Check Day, Monday. Hope y'all had a beautiful weekend. I know I'm still resting. I don't know about y'all, but when you get to a certain age, honey, honey, let me tell you something. I shut down quick, okay? So if you don't know if you were sleeping up on the rock, it's my birthday. My birthday was Thursday, September the 5th. And honey, I've been, I'm going to be celebrating Virgo season. If y'all didn't know, I am a Virgo. Okay. If some of you been sleeping up on the rock, I'm just saying. I am a Virgo. And I, I, I'm i still like sleepy. It's early in the morning recording this. Don't judge me. I'm just bringing you a message. I hope everyone's doing fine. You are good good that's good i hope you have. and if you're not just go on meditation and ask spirit guys god to help clear your mind uh any negative thoughts into re into a uh, positivity okay so we gonna get started we'll get into it i've been doing a lot of readings this morning i've been doing i started a few i ain't gonna say a lot of them um, this is probably the this is my um fourth sign so I kind of split it up, give uh, give the um, videos time to upload. I'll do a little bit now and I'll do a little bit later, okay? But I love you guys. Let's see what's in the energy. So what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm going to pull first angel numbers. See what your angel number, see what the angels wants to say to you today. Hello, spirit guys. God, I ask you to give me clarity and understanding. This is for my beautiful Pisces. Pisces, let's see what the angels got for you today, okay? Angel numbers, and I will give you enough of time. I'll give you a few seconds to screenshot the card if you want to, and you can kind of meditate on your card for today. Okay, Spirit Guides, God, I ask you to come into this reading. I ask you to give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your protection. This is for Pisces. What's in the energy, angels? What is the card for Pisces? Let's see what's the cards for you, Pisces. I love you too. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank y'all for being here for new watchers, uh, new viewers, cross watches. Thank y'all so much for being here. All right. Thank you, spirit guys. Talk to me. Angel number four, Pisces. Angel number out here is 2244, Pisces. Okay. 2244 is for you, Pisces. Let me scoot over here. Okay. That is your card number. Smooth sailing. And it says, right, help, perseverance, and abundance. So on this day, Pisces, it says, as stated in the spiritual book, a course in miracles. The angels nourish your new life purpose. This is a sign, okay, Pisces, representing that when you make the desired transformation, you have assistance from heaven. And at this time, you especially need to know that you are not alone. The sequence of this number, two and four, is a signal from your angels telling you that you are more closely, that you are now closely cooperating with you. So that means that you are beginning to cooperate with yourself, not holding yourself back towards what is what your angels is trying to create in your life, help, help you create in your life. And most of all, to know that Pisces, you are not alone. Okay. You are not alone. You're going through a transformation. Okay. And you have assistance from the heaven, from God, from your higher spirit at this time. And that's why they're saying, I want you to know that you're not alone, whatever this is that you're going through, even during your transformation, like a butterfly, we all got to go through a transformation in order to become and blossom out to what you're supposed to be. So in this state of transformation, some of you may be going through the dark night of soul. Some of you may be going through shadow work, mirror work, shadow work, whatever you're going through, you're going through a transformation and spirit guys, God is here with you. And it says, um, a course in miracles, the angels are nourishing, the angels are nourishing your life's purpose. Okay. So spirit guides, God is nourishing, 
uh, you so you can get where you supposed to be on your life's journey in your life's journey okay so that card is 2244 you want to screen shoot that i hold it up here for a minute my beautiful pisces okay so let's get another uh angel card for you yeah, because you can meditate on these cards. You know, I want y'all to, not only am I speaking life into you and helping you to heal your heart and helping you to reprogram your mind, your the way that you're thinking into new ways, you know, I'll help you to upgrade your software, which is your mentality. Um, and, and sometimes we need to have some type of affirmation or something that we can we can go, uh, we can look back on and uh, we can keep it reassuring, reassuring ourselves. Give me another card, Spirit for Pisces. Thank you. Number 3344. Wow. 2244-3344. Look at the number here. 2244-3344. That's, that's definitely a sequence there. Okay. So let's see what this 3344 is all about, my beautiful Pisces. A spirit. Yep. That's what I said. Spiritual awakening. Guardianship in abundance. There are many assists around you now. The angels are all around you. you. got angels everywhere. Spirit guides is all around you, Pisces. And it says the angels are all here to assist God and love you. You are not alone, baby. Even though this is a dark period of time right now that you're going through, and even though you don't understand what you're going through, or even though that you're going through this mental transformation and it feels lonely and nobody understands, it's like people don't fail off and you, you don't, you isolate it. Just know that you're not alone, okay? That's why God, Spirit Guides, is, is guiding you towards like-minded people to help you through this transition. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Positive Thoughts and Energy. You have been guided to me for me to help you on this journey. And I want you to feel safe and I want you to trust me in your energy. I am here to help you. I am here to guide you. I am here to help align you back into your guide you back into your alignment of yourself mentally verbally physically bodily okay so it says reach out to accept their assistance and it says because they also reach out their hands to you so the angels are which reaching out their hands and they want you to reach back okay pisces reach back okay i am an earth angel I really feel that in my body, mind, and my soul that I was brought back here to help guide a lot of people into the into the lightness. I'm all about love and light. I really feel like I'm an earth angel. Okay. Let's get another card. 2240. Did I let y'all uh did I let y'all screenshot that? 2244 and 3344. Here's your 3344. You're going through a spiritual awakening. A lot of you going through the dark night of the soul. A lot of you going through the uh, shadow work. You, you're going through something. You feel very alone, or you feel like there's no there. There's nobody there for you. So twenty two forty four is more. See those words more from and I don't know. Smooth sailing. I read that. Move forward. Yeah, that part. See these these cards they put it in a different font up here and it's hard to read the font. The font is like it's almost in there in Spanish. Uh it, it, like this one I could see very clear. See that one I could see very clear. But when it comes down to this one, it's like what the mojo woja woja is that? <laughs> spirit guys, give me another card, spirit. This is for Pisces. This is for Pisces. Thank you. One more card for Pisces. Thank you. You got 8899 is here. This is your third card. This is 8899, your angel number, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. I love you guys. I love you too. Thank you so much for the birthday shout outs. Thank you all so much for your support, your guidance. Thank you so much for your beautiful words, your genuine heart. Thank you so much for the testimonies, sharing your thoughts, your prayers, sharing everything with me. I want to say thank you and I love you guys. Don't forget to new viewers, cross watches, take what resonate, reverse the roles. Also, in the same sense, I need you to make sure that you like and share my video so it can go on through the algorithm 
and the rhythm of YouTube. I really appreciate that. So this card is saying change in confident, powerful yearning for beauty attention. Some important stages in your life are about to come to the end and, and other events that follow will also end like a domino effect. This sequence of numbers represents that you are experiencing a series of events in which many parts of your life will slow down or are about to stop. However, there is no need to worry because these changes are necessary for you so that a new series of things and situations can begin. Okay, so don't be afraid. Those things has to go. It's time for a change in your life. It's time for a transformation. Okay, you're going through a spiritual awakening. Okay, yeah, you're going through a spiritual yeah. awakening. But you're going to, yeah, let me tell you something. Once you come out of this, you're going to love it over here. If you're watching me, you were guided. It wasn't a coincidence. You were guided through spirit guides. God said, I need you to come this way because I need you to be, I need you to learn lessons. I need you to understand the journey that you're on. If you come across me, I'm hopper, I'm operating from a very high frequency. Okay. I'm at, I, I'm at a fifth dimension of frequency. So spirit guides, God wants you here. Your angels want you here. Okay. If not higher than that, I'm operating from. So you just can't get in my energy. I want you I want you to understand that. You just can't get in my energy. If you're here, it's because Spirit God's God wants you here, have pulled you to, towards me in my energy. It wasn't a coincidence. It wasn't, oh my God, I just came across your page and it's boom. No, you were guided to my page. Oh my God, I've, I've not seen you on YouTube before. Oh, I... I I just bumped into you. I just end up here. No, you didn't just end up there. You didn't just end up here or bumped into me. Spirit guides, God let you, put you here. <laughs> you didn't just bump here. <laughs> it, you didn't. <laughs> it may feel like that way with yourself because you're still going through a spiritual awakening, but you were, yeah, pulled this way. You were, Your energy was pulled towards me. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works. It's going to be a lot you're going to learn, a lot of lessons learned, but you're going to be proud of yourself. You're going to look back on this time next year, this time two months from now, this time three months from now. And you're going to be like, wow, a lot has changed so quickly in my life because angels guided you here. Let's get it. Spirit guys, give me one more card. Okay, one more card for Pisces. Let's see, one more card for you, Pisces. All right, 3388 is your angel number. 3380, ooh, look at the bottom of the deck, 777, completion at the bottom of the deck. 3388, see that? 3388, and it says, make persistent effort. Make persistent effort, Pisces. Accumulation, improvement, abundance, and prosperity. The angels say to you, Pisces, keep going. Okay? Keep going, baby. All right? Elevate your energy and focus on your thoughts and feelings. Adjust your perspective based on the knowledge that you are one with God, with everyone, and with all things. Okay? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep being persistent, consistent, persistent, and know that, look at here. 777 at the bottom of the deck. And it says, may all your wishes come true. Leap. Take that leap of faith. Upward. Brave. Abundance. Okay. The angels are applauding you and congratulating you for your success. Okay. Keep going and know that your dreams are coming true. This is a very positive sign, meaning that you should also expect more miracles to happen in your life. 777 is the number of completions, new beginnings. It's a beautiful thing. My beautiful Pisces. So at one point in time, some of you have been feeling alone because you've been going through the dark, dark night of the soul. At one point, some of y'all, like I say, everybody on different timelines. Some of y'all already been through this. Some of you going through this right now. Some of you this coming up in your near future. And uh, you are definitely, you have been through a spiritual awakening. You have so many good things coming towards you. So many beautiful blessings coming to Lord, towards you. And your angels are saying, keep going. They got you. You're not alone. They're going to assist you. They're going to nourish you to get on your journey. Don't give up. Keep being persistent. Keep being persistent. Keep pushing. 
Okay, Pisces. Let's see what this is talking about. Let's tap into your energy. Spirit guides, give me clarity. Understanding this for Pisces. What is it that we're trying to, what you the angels are trying to tell Pisces. Let's see what's going on, Pisces. Okay, I love you guys. Yeah, I love you guys. You like this. Yeah, you know. You know, it's understanding yourself and learning and having guidance on your path of how to get to what you're trying to uh, succeed in. And, and, and that's through a lot of healing, okay? That's through a lot of healing, okay? So the card that fell out is block, okay? N block, moving on, uh, nothing to say, and stop calling. So you have finally decided, to stop dealing with somebody, some people, somebody, someone. You decided to stop dealing with them. You got somebody blocked. You, you're tired of them, okay? Spirit guys, tell me more. You are tired of this energy. You said stop calling you. Thank you, Spirit. Let me get my cards here right. Soulmate. Uh, twin flame, friendship, romance. So it is could be anybody. Okay, soulmate connection. Okay, this could somebody be somebody. This could be with somebody that you blocked that you thought was your soulmate. You thought this was somebody that was gonna you, you was gonna be with the rest of your life. This could have been a friendship. This could have been somebody you was friends with that you thought y'all was gonna be friends for the rest of your your life. Okay, this could have been a romantic partner that you thought that was going to blossom with you and be with you the rest of your life. You had to put them on block and you had to stop them. You have nothing to say to them. Spirit guys, tell me more about this energy. Yeah, drowning over your head, overextended. You overextended yourself. You gave too much of this person. I feel like you was you hit rock bottom with this person. It's like, okay, um, if I don't let this go, if I don't go towards my own destiny, if I don't do some dark night of the soul and start uh, going through a, you know, a, a, a transformation of making myself better, uh, this person has, uh, uh, I have hit rock bottom with this person. I have, I've been over my head. I've drowned it with this person. This ain't what a soulmate's supposed to be. I feel like you was with a toxic. This could have been, it says soulmate. And I felt like that's what you thought this person was, was your soulmate. They end up being a karmic. They all they all they end up being a karmic uh, a lesson learned is what spirit guys is telling me. Yeah, you had to set boundaries. You had to you said that's it. I got to draw the line here because this person had you in the energy of worry intense migraine headaches. They had you in this energy. Okay, a lot of energy here. It wasn't growing. I see the nourishing in the reverse. It wasn't growing. You had to set boundaries. This person, this is someone you thought was your soulmate, but this is somebody that drowned you. This is someone that you overstended your help to. You you tried to do the best you could, but the more you helped them, seemed like the more you was drowning. Look at the car. Look at the one. Like the more I helped, the more I was drowning. This person was literally emotionally drowning you. They drowned every ounce of energy out of you to the point that you had headaches, migraines. You couldn't understand why you was getting these headaches, these migraines. You was tense You was because you were stressed. You were stressed. Because you were stressed. And you thought this person was your soulmate. You thought this person was your soulmate, your partner, the one. You know, you thought whoever this was, was the one for you. But they end up, you were all over your head, like you overstended, try to prove yourself to this person until you hit rock bottom. It took, I feel like it took you hitting rock bottom for you to realize. You know how sometimes a person can be so in love that they just so blind, I mean, when I tell you blind, blind, there's no C. And I feel like it took you hitting rock bottom and realize that this person do not give a damn about you. It took you realizing that this person don't care about you. Because by the time you realize you had already hit rock bottom and you were drowning in your own energy. You were drowning in your own fluid. You were drowning emotionally, this person drained every ounce out of you 
You had nothing left. Drowned you so bad. So bad. So stressed out. Drowned you. And they're very, look here. They always came back. This person always came back when something happened and y'all went through what you went through. They always came back with that arrogant apology, that insincere. You knew they wasn't real about what they was apologizing for. You see this cat? Arrogant and insincere, you know, rash reaction. Trying to stop you from leaving or stopping you from blocking them or stopping you from going. And they just come in like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, you know I'm sorry. Uh, 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 uh. Arrogant. But this time you said no. Yep. They were, they were wearing a mask. They were very uh, deceptive. Look at here. Look at them. It could be man or woman. It doesn't matter. Don't forget everybody to like, push like, and share so that my videos can go around. Look at that. You got deception here. Hiding mask deception. Yeah. This person concealing. You know, this person was just sneaky and didn't care how they done you. Didn't care, did not care whatsoever. Karmic, I told you, this was a karmic person. Third party, this person had you in a third party situation. Haters, lesson learned. So if this wasn't a, uh, this is maybe a friend, or some of you thought a friend was a friend, but she or he wasn't a friend, uh, they would end up being haters, or this was a relationship that you thought this was a soulmate connection. It wasn't. These people were lessons for you to learn. These karmics were lessons for you to learn. They were never to be in your life for life. This was your test. This was your lesson to be learned. You know, some people are brought back to reincarnate back to life, back to earth to help change the world for the better. Some people don't want to change. Some people come back to earth to for only life's lessons, to only be karmics, to only teach you. They're not here to elevate and go with you. They're just here to for you to learn your lessons from. So you got people coming, reincarnated, coming back. Like myself, I'm reincarnated, coming back to guide you to the light. You have some people ain't coming for that. They are just life lessons. They're here to test you. They're not here to go along with you. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> so you definitely must, definitely was dealing with a karmic that drowned every ounce out of you, Pisces. Lesson learned. I can't make this up. And I said it earlier if you rewind the video. Third party haters and lesson learned. Karmic. And so what spirit guys was doing, Pisces, to get you to a place of setting boundaries, setting boundaries, knowing your worth, knowing when to draw the line, knowing to not to keep letting people walk over you, step over you, treat you any kind of way, learning for you to learn how to move on and say no and, and learn, just put the, put the big stop on it. I feel like in the past, before you went through this transformation, this spiritual awakening, you just let people just drain the living life out of you. I don't care who it is, y'all. Family, friends, it doesn't matter. Jobs, it don't matter. Energy is energy. These was lessons to be learned for you. Yeah. Let's see, let's see what your let's see what your reading is. And you, you're not alone. Just know you're not alone. Your, your, your angels are helping you, are nourishing you back to health. Nourishing back back to on your journey. You're going through a spiritual awakening. You're seeing the truth. You're seeing people for who they really are. You see, you what you thought was a soulmate was actually a karmic. I can't make this up. What you thought, who you thought, what you thought, platonic friends, whatever, was actually a karmic. They were only here to teach you a lesson. They were never to be here for life. They were they were never your soulmate or your friend or your uh, 
romantic partner. They was just the the karmic side. Okay. I know. They drank the living life out of you. Lessons to learn, right? Yeah, I get it. Spirit guys, talk to me. Tell me more. Mm. Yeah, this is somebody you blocked. You blocked this person. Okay, they watching you. This is someone that you blocked that stressed you to freak out. You blocked this person. Once again, you blocked them. This Queen of Swords in the reverse is blocked. Two different decks, blocked. You blocked this person. And this person is definitely, is definitely keeping an eye on you. And this person is really all in their head about you blocking them. This person been been realizing if they were strolling down their page or down a, a down a, a, a platform or a channel or whatever, Instagram, TikTok, play whatever, uh, they realize that they they uh, that you're not dealing with them. Ever since you blocked this person, you've been back standing. You okay? Thank you, Spirit. Spirit guy said you meant this. You stood ten toes down on this. You meant this. You 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 meant this when you blocked this person. You stood you stood on it. You stood on it. You stood on it. Ain't no coming back. You stood on it. But they're watching you. They can't sleep at night. Yeah, you started holding back. You you started blocking your heart from this person. You could have left this person out in the cold. Could have been a Gemini. I mean, okay, Gemini. Could have been a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You don't see this person the same. This person is not a leader. This person is in the need of energy. This person wants you. They want back in your energy. But you said, no, I'm taking a leap of faith. I'm starting a new beginning somewhere else. A lot of you had to do some work on yourself. Yeah, this person don't want you to close this cycle. This is a cycle that some of you still need to close. Some of you are still got this door open with this person. This is a cycle that you need to open. I mean, this is a cycle that you need to close out. Some of you have not closed the cycle. Yeah, this person is definitely thinking about you. You've been praying. This was somebody that was in and out, hot, cold, their feelings, but you you extended too much of your energy to this person. Yes, you did, Pisces. Yeah, they drained you dry. Money, fi financially, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, look, they drained you, drained you dry. Ooh, they drained you dry. You did not listen to your intuition. You are not tapped. You was not tapped into your higher self. This person stole from you, drained you dry, drained your finances, drained your mental thoughts, drained you out of love, drained. They just drained you. You 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 extended too much, and so, uh, spirit guys, you're going through a dark dark night of soul spiritual awakening, and you feel alone. But spirit guys, God, your angels got you. But this is a lesson to be learned that this person was very selfish, a lot of secrets, had a temper, a lot of problems going on with this person. See, you sowed a lot of seeds in with this person, but you wasn't getting nowhere with this person. You wasn't getting nowhere with this person. Some of you still stuck with this person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't necessarily mean that. That's just what the cards represent. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Yeah, this person was very manipulative, young, okay, and hurt your heart. This person was very immature, okay? Very immature. The three cards fell out. It's a magician, the page of wands, and the magician in the reverse, the page of wands, and the ten of swords. This person hurt you a lot of times. Their immature ways, very immature, okay? Could have been a grown boy, grown girl. Could have been younger than you or you younger than them. They were very manipulating, and it conned you out a lot of money, conned you out your finances, bro broke you, drowned you, you hit rock bottom. It took you hitting rock bottom for you to realize that it's time for you for you to go through this spiritual awakening. Because this person, whoever this was, they really dragged you financially, mentally, and physically. And physically. They drained you. They drank the living life out of you. Whoever this was drained the living life out of you. But this is a le lesson learned, okay? We're going to get you back on track. 
where spirit guides God, the angels want you to be. We're going to get you back on track. You're going to learn how to love yourself. You're going to learn how to pour into yourself. You're going to learn how to set boundaries. You're going to learn how to say no. You're going to stop giving so much of yourself. You're going to stop pouring all your cup into someone else. And when you pour all your cup, there's nothing being poured back into you. We're going to help you get there. I'm going to help you get there with the help of my spirit guides, my spirit team, my angels and my God. We're going to help you get on the right track because I'm going to nourish. I'm going to speak life into you and we're going to get you back to where you're supposed to be. And then some, we got to get you to your destiny of prosperity, abundance, and happiness. I am positive thoughts and energy, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys. In my readings, there are blessings, lessons, and confirmations. You just have to be vigilant and listen to the message. Until next time, Pisces.